My name is Kudza, I'm Chenjokwa and I'm a Programs Officer with Gen and Media Connect. And uh, Gen and Media Connect was part of the consortium which was operating under the SheLeads uh, project. Gen and Media Connect were an organization which focuses on empowering women uh, using uh, the media. So basically what we do is we are there to ensure that women are also given the same voice that men are being given in the media. We are there to ensure that uh, men are given the same um, a platform to air out what their concerns are, what they want to say, uh, just like uh, men are also uh, given by the media. So basically our job is to ensure that women have uh, a platform in which they are able to uh, share their views uh, without being discriminated, without being, um, uh, you know, uh, without being uh, pushed to, to, to to the background. So that is what we do as uh, Gender and Media Connect. Well, looking at uh, the Shilis project, um, I think uh, when we look at the key results, uh, for me, it is the issue to do with uh, how we change the attitudes and behaviors of uh, the online and radio personalities that we were training. You know, those guys are influencers, whatever they say, whatever they do, uh, they always um, uh, put out uh, or rather they always uh, uh, lead the discourse uh, within the community. So what we did was to ensure that we give these uh, online and radio personalities uh, skills and knowledge on how they can mainstream gender sensitive content in their programs, in their skits, in everything that they do so that they promote gender equality and they also uh, ensure that women are not discriminated and that women are given a platform in which they can um, you know have a voice well for us we were training um, online um, and radio personalities right and um, what i can say is i think we trained about eight of them um, eight women um, this includes online and radio personalities. And uh, from those online and radio personalities, uh, 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 females that we trained, we managed to have um, one woman who was um, put in charge of creating the editorial policy for Sky, uh, Sky's Metro FM, which did not have an editorial policy which was gender sensitive. So she was tasked to create an editorial policy which was gender sensitive because they had realized that uh, she had come uh, for our trainings and she had gained, uh, she had gained uh, knowledge and experience on how to develop that. And we also had um, one of uh, the radio presenters, Rosalind Mutari, who started um, a show called Dandaro in which um, she was giving um, women a platform to speak out on issues that were taking place in their communities, uh, allowing women to share their stories on uh, the things that were happening in their lives and in their societies, and also giving an opportunity to those women who are aspiring to be leaders. You know, um, these women uh, were also contesting in the um, uh, by-elections that took place in March. So we managed to uh, have um, one of our females you know, starting that program called Dandaro. And we also had um, uh, one participant, Nyasha Mandimutsira, who at first was a producer uh, for shows at Capital, Capital FM, Capital FM rather. Um, she was uh, given an opportunity to host her own program. And uh, this was, um, uh, for us, this was uh, a, a key result because she then uh, took up that opportunity to also give women a platform uh, to also air out their concerns and also to speak out and also have uh, a voice to show their visions and aspirations to, do, to the communities that they, um, uh, they are representing. So for us, it was a matter of um, encouraging the women that we train to create platforms that would also um, enhance the participation of women um, in um, in in the day-to-day -day lives to ensure that these women are given uh, a platform to share their visions, their aspirations, the things that they want to see change in the world that they live in. So uh, for us, I think those were uh, the women, I would say, did, um, you know, I wouldn't say they were promoted, but they managed to start um, some shows which uh, allowed 
um, you know, an increase in female participation. Um, hi guys, my name is uh, Doug Fikela. I'm an award-winning stand-up comedian, uh, the founder and creative director for Simuka Comedy, um, a hybrid organization that uses humor, um, comedy, to create safe spaces around social norms and to also give youths um, and women a chance to be heard in their voices to uh, count for something in the national discourse, be it social, political, economic uh, areas. But we are the funny people. We try to make sure people laugh at every instance that we get. So um, the She Leads project, we, we got a test of it through Gender and Media Connect. Um, through uh, gender sensitivity workshops, uh, through other activities that we did uh, as part of the project. And it has prepared uh, me in a huge way because as a person who works with a team, I work with a team of about eight people uh, that come directly under me at Simuka Comedy. And um, it's a mixture of both genders, male and female. And before those workshops, before the gender sensitivity workshops, there were things that we took for granted. There were things that we never thought they were relevant or necessary, that then uh, helped us to treat uh, each gender fairly and equitably uh, in terms of, 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 of uh, the, the, their psychological, their physio psychological needs and you know, emotional needs, physiological needs, uh, it is, it is. So I think it was a very good project that we feel like um, it has to be done also regularly and also at an institutional level. Whereas if I go for training as uh, the, the, the head of Simuka Comedy and I come in a cascade, everything that I learn to, 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 my, to, my, to, my, to my co-workers, um, they learn it on a third part basis. Whereas if uh, this project, if GMC can be capacitated to come to the organization itself and teach people each and uh, all those aspects, um, I think it will also go in a long way to reinforce uh, you know, the, the desired effect. I think the issue equality, uh, gender equality was key. And also the issue of knowing what to say and what not to say. Because as comedians, sometimes we, you, you have seen comedy on social media, you have seen comedy uh, everywhere. Sometimes we, jokes, they celebrate tragedy. Comedy rides upon tragedy. But we, through these workshops, we learned how to create, to make comedy a safe space for people to talk about key issues. They might be political or economic. So I think in terms of advocacy towards issues that affect uh, society, we learned a lot in areas of sensitivity because without being sensitive, you end up insulting. So I think that was the biggest takeaway because uh, if you see most of the work that we then broadcasted from the moment we started learning, you can see a big difference in tone variations, in delivery, in the setups, in the punchlines. Even our comedy shows themselves, they have a lot of a consciousness around the need to to balance uh, the scales whether you are you're making jokes or not when it comes to the workplace also it's something that uh, we found with the um, there's the issue of sanitary wear whereas we never thought we could have a sanitary bin as, as something that is very important but after uh, going through that we realized mm, this is very critical so there are things that we we didn't know that we learned that we then now use to to, to, to feather our work. I mean, it doesn't make sense. But I did that, I didn't know how to die. I did that. I did that, I did that. Not necessarily, I did that. I did that, but in, as part of creating content. But I did that, my workshops, the things that I did that, of how to manage our newsrooms, of how to manage our production room. Like for Simka Comedy, we have a full, full-fledged production room. Right? where there's the edit, uh, the edit um, stations, we have a full-fledged production team, where there's the production, where they do the filming, etc., uh, etc., et then the production, the, the, the guys that manage the production. Right? So these three arms themselves, they, they, they have two women there, two women there, one lady there. So, what I did is that I did that I did that I did that I so, at the same time, we are gender, but now when we are creating our content, we are saying we, we uphold the importance of us being at equal footing at the workplace. So, when we are content, we are skit, you know, 
ino buditsaka equality kaya kaya not because tukuti takazi dzidza kwa but takato zvidzidziswa kuti zvinhu zviri chi zviri chi zviri necessary katotaura nyaya dzedu ofuti takuzoti kuti tika pranya vakadzi takadai hoso it means kuti vanhu mu society vachaseka but wofunga kuti zviriko maibata but twapkanya tizvipkanya so that I don't know what I hope I can you know what I know something like that.